I have a PSA at the beginning of episode 23 of Valhalla regarding the glitching that happens in this video. You should probably watch that if you don't know what's going on with it. Anyways... Valhalla, Cyberpunk Bartender Action, is a game rated M for Mature. Billy didn't uh, smell like poo today. That's a new one. Billy. Billy? Who Billy? Who dat? Uh, am I missing something? Is that a joke? Okay. Maybe? Ah, oh, no. Doesn't matter. Alright, back to business. Back. Any luck? I managed to give out some flyers, but most people were distracted by the dog. I mean, it's a pretty cool dog. He has sunglasses and a Hawaiian shirt. I had to tell them uh, to go to the Rad Sheba bar to get their attention. Oh. Anyways, I'm back to my office. You stay here. Fine. The door opens and the crowd goes wild when they see a ah, dog! Sup, little girl? What are you doing in bar? Huh, honey, some help here? Hey, dog, I heard some cats in the alley. Really? I'll check them out. Wow, you are really bad with dogs, eh? Uh, really bad with dogs, huh? Did I make it too obvious? Why, though? I don't know. Oh, hey, John. Hey. I think it's because I just got that trait as uh, at random. When AIs are created, they're given fears or uh, taste completely at random. I just happened to get stuck with the uh, fear of dogs and chihu uh, chinchillas. Chinchillas are extinct, though. What? No! This future sucks. Thank gods. What will you have? Well, it's that time of the month, so I think I'll have a bleeding Jane. Coming right... Um... Up. Uh, bleeding Jane for Dorothy in honor of her time of the month. Yeah, that's, um... Ha. Huh. That's all I have to say to that, huh? Okay. One Bronson Extract, three Powder Delta, uh, three Flan. Uh, all blended, okay. I'm really grateful for these uh, blended drinks, just so I can have time to, <laughs> to take a sip of water. Because doing some of these voices is kind of tiring sometimes for my voice. I had that iTunes thing up the whole time. I did not mean to do that. Well, <laughs> it's not like it matters too much. It's out of the way anyways, but still. Whatever. Anyways, uh, yeah, sir. Here. That time of the month, do... Do little menstruate? Yes, oil. Uh, what, uh, what, uh, let's, let's, let's not dive too much into it. No, silly, we don't. There are a few maintenance things uh, we have to do every month, but those are a different story. Then what time of the month is it? The time when I feel like drinking a Bleeding Jane. God! Okay. <laughs> okay. Okie dokie. So, how's business? You'd be surprised how many people get, uh, get struck by holiday depression and need some Dorothy in their lives. Although it's also the same with, uh, also the season with the most competition. I didn't know you had competition. Of course I do, both humans and Lilim. Half of them got. Half of them got a sexy. Uh, <laughs> half of them got a sexy Santa dress, and that's not fair. They were sold out! I wanted one too! But maybe it's better that way. How so? 
The other girls like to dress in skimpy clothes and show a lot of skin. That scares off, uh, that scares off lots of people. I learned that the best way to maintain regulars is to, just to dress normally. Really? If I dress normally, they can just pretend I'm some acquaintance. No need to hide me uh, until reaching the room. Heck, even uh, some even invite me to a dinner or a movie before anything else. Although I must say it's a bit hard to get uh, the clients in the first place. They can't tell what I do at a glance. And the first time they see me after uh, after a call, they think I'm uh, just making a prank or something. Huh, I never saw it that way. Which reminds me, do you serve only humans or do you serve Lilum too? Humans only, but I do have an at least 40% 40, uh, 40 organic policy. 40%? I'd buy that for a dollar. <laughs> Sorry. Humans from the neck up. Oh. oh. Yeah. They, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Given her profession, yeah, I, I... Fair enough. Hmm. Why, do you know someone that might be interested? No, just mere curiosity. Well, your curiosity left me thirsty. Give me a blue fairy, a big one, would you? All right. Big blue fairy for the small pink-haired pixie. Hurry up. Blue fairy. One, two, three, four. One flan. Optional. Now one more. Uh, that's right, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Mix. Blue pair. Here you go. Honey, you do know that, uh, how they say that size doesn't matter? It doesn't, but in this case it does. You know, earlier today they said, uh, there was a mega Christmas spirit around here. What about it? That I'm realizing I made a fuss about serving drinks to someone underage, but here I am. Nothing in particular, just a funny story. I have a funny story myself. It's the Mega Santa prank. <sighs> the what? Heh, <sighs> it's a prank I pull every year. First, I pick them all. Wait for a day w uh, with lots of people. Oh no. Then I go to Santa's lap, and when he asks what I want, I say in the most innocent tone I can muster, Oh no, oh no, please no. I want you to make me a woman! Sometimes they try to cover it up. Uh, the Lilum wants to be a human. But then why I say, <laughs> No, I want you. After that, I say, well, at the... <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, no. No, no, no. I once thought about screaming, oh, whoa, that's not cool. But I remembered if it uh, it was a prank, and I didn't want to ruin the guy's life. G good call for not ruining a guy's life with a prank. How considerate. Although I did get a client that way, he became a regular soon after. Oh. Uh... Only five and fifty nine ninety nine, huh? But yeah, three years and they still don't get that it's always me. Oh yeah, how old are you? Old enough for anything you want. Whoa, <laughs> no numbers. I need numbers. Are you really asking a girl her age that way? Okay then, tell me your age first. Twenty seven. No fair. You didn't get fidgety or anything like that. 
fine, I'll tell you. My model is designed to look between 10 to 13, but uh, my last checkup said my mental age was 24. How long since you've been deployed? That's a secret I'll keep with me. Fair enough. I expected you to get all uncomfortable talking about your age, though. Why didn't you? With how dangerous everything's been lately, every year, uh, every year you get matters. Getting old isn't a curse, it's an achievement. You should make a shirt with that, because if you don't, I will. Feel free to do so. Do you want anything else? Let's see. Oh, a cobal cobalt velvet. It's been a while since I've tried one of those. All right, cobalt velvet. Okay. Well, this is a, a one of the more expensive drinks, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I need to keep an eye on my money so I can pay my electric bill, which is my big thing. Uh, two, and then three, and then five. On the rocks and mix. Cobalt velvet. Yep, this is the one. Do you like it? I don't dislike it. I guess I'm not mature enough for these drinks. Hey, honey, what's day's day? Uh, what day is today? Wednesday. No, the number, the number! The number? 21. Shouldn't you know that? I'm a little, I'm not a calendar. I thought you would know that much. Next, you're going to tell me uh, to make some convoluted calculation. Y you can't? I could if I put my mind to it, but it's not something I have quick access to. Yes, I have an inner calendar and calculator, but those are uh, used in lots of other operations in every second. I could do all that, but it's a lot quicker to just ask you. I see. What do you need the date, though? I have something to do on the 26th. I've been avoiding it for a while now. Whoa, 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 whoa. The, the screen glitching out. <laughs> uh, oh, but don't worry. It's nothing dangerous or anything like that. Just heavy. Would you like some help? Would you help me? Uh, if you tell me what it is you need help with. Maybe later. I have to go now. See you later. Bye. You think she really can't access calendars or calculators that easily? I guess it's kind of like how even if you, uh, even if a text processor can access a computer's calculator, you wouldn't use it. Uh, you don't use it for that. Why didn't you tell her you missed her yesterday? Forgot about it. I didn't find any cats. Why not look again? Good idea. Hi. Huh? Another kid? Maybe the bar got popular at uh, some middle school. That would be very dangerous. That would be a hassle. Uh, well, a hassle and also dangerous. Oh, gods, maybe Alma was right. Right about what? Well, the other day I was asking her opinions about the whole Alice Rabbit thing. For the whole mass, uh, massive tr uh, transmission hack thing. And at some point she talked about hacking becoming a fad and said, Imagine if suddenly a group of tweens broke into a bar and started asking for drinks. Yikes. And today there have been two kids already. Eh, how would bartender, uh, bartending become a fad? Maybe a cartoon? Kids' cartoons don't show any alcohol. True. Um, excuse me, miss. This is no place for kids. You should... Um, Gil, she's staring too much. And she's not saying anything. She's not ordering anything, so uh, she's not causing trouble, and there's nothing too inappropriate here. I mean, nothing inappropriate aside from alcohol, but alcohol is everywhere anyways. So, when do you suggest? Let her be? 
She's just curious about the bar. She's saying nothing. Maybe she's, she's curious and shy. Also, it's rude to speak about people uh, you have in front of you like they can't hear you. Yeah. Jill. Bah! How the heck did I startle you? What do you want? Can you help me out here with a beer? Uh, right. A beer for Gil. Haven't I seen that girl before? Who knows? One, one, two. Uh, one powder delta, two flan, four karma train. Three, four. I think that's good. One, one, two, one, one, two, four karma train. Mix beer. Here you go. Thanks, and lower your guard a bit, please. Oh yeah, before I forget. The disposal unit can't, uh, comes on uh, Sunday. Do you have any uh, expired ingredients on your side? Oh, right, yeah. There's a bottle of Carmatrine that's like a month past expiration. Put it by the sink so I remember to dispose of it. Thanks. Hey, miss? Y yeah? Are you happy? Am I happy? Well, that's a weird question. I'm not sad, I guess. I'm not jubilant, but... No, I mean, are you happy with your life? With your choices? Deep question. I mean, I might have one or two regrets, but I guess it could be worse. Regrets? Yeah, I mean, don't we all? I see. Um... Hey, Jill. Ah! Again? Aren't you a bit on edge? Maybe. What did you want? Didn't you borrow the screwdriver the other day? I did. Why? I forgot to take coins from the arcade uh, arcades in the corner last week, so I need uh, I needed to take them out. Oh, let's see. Here. It's not like they see much action these days, anyways. Chump change is still money. Pocket change uh, has saved my butt many times. What? Did you throw it in someone's face while uh, escaping? That only happened once and the old lady started it. <laughs> nice. Good job, Gil. Right. Why does an arcade still use coins nowadays? Or physical money when you can get, uh, when you get down to it? For the reason arcades still exist. Nostalgia. Maybe. Hey, miss. Uh, yeah? Do you recognize me? Recognize you? I want to say I do, but... Eh. Sorry. Really? You can't remember your own sister's fate? What? Sister? Sorry, but I don't have any sis... Sister? Not even a sister-in-law? No way. Gabby? Is that you? God, I'm sorry. But you've uh, just grown so much since I last saw you. How long has it been? Three years. R right. So you know her? Yeah, she's actually my girl, uh, my ex's sister. Um, so how have you been doing? I actually had to transfer schools and managed to skip a grade thanks to admin admissions t tests. I'll be out of middle school next year. You've always been a smart one, so it's no surprise. Have you thought about what you wanted to study in college? You always said you wanted to be a scientist. I don't know yet. But I still have a couple of years to think about that. Well, don't feel pressured about that. Maybe you'll need a sabbatical year. So, how's Lenore? Wait, who's Lenore? Her sister, she's, um... She was, she was my girlfriend. So you actually had a relationship with something that's not a cat. Color me surprised. Hey, don't talk crap about my baby. <clears throat> so how's Lenore doing? She's dead. Oh. Sorry, I don't think I heard right. 
My sister is dead, Jill. She died last Saturday. I came all the way to tell you the news. Come on, Gabby, stop fooling uh No, you stop fooling around. I mean, wow! My sister was left to suffer at her disease all alone while you were all merry here, mixing drinks and chatting. Wait, Lenore was sick? Of what? Since when? Localized nanomachine rejection. It gave her a heart attack. She started complaining about chest pains not long after you left. Was all the talk about getting your freedom worth it, Jill? Was your right to be Mary worth the life of my sister? Why are you laughing, lashing out at me like that? Did I infect her with a disease that, it, that killed her? No, but... It's too much of, of a coincidence that she started getting worse and worse right after you left. She got visibly sick after you after your fight. It'd be no surprise that uh, if that fight played a key role in killing her. But that's just, just speculation. You can't expect all of that because you wanted freedom. What kind of freedom is so enticing uh, that it makes you hurt a nice three-year-old relationship? Was this freedom so important you cut all contact from us? Was this freedom so good after you let uh, you left everything behind? Was this freedom worth the life of my... Shut up! I didn't kill your sister. It's not like I infected her with that nanomachine rejection. This is the first time I've even heard that she was sick. And do you really, uh, do you really know what kind of fear drove me to have, uh, that argument with your sister? Do you even understand the fear of, fe uh, feeling, uh, your youth slip through your fingers? Do you think it was all easy for me? I was scared. I'm still scared. But I needed to grab hold of my life. But it has nothing to do with your sister. I loved her. Do you think that fight didn't hurt me too? I... Idiot. Ah! I... I... I'll make sure that girl gets to wherever she wants to go safely. Meanwhile, Chief. I know. Come on, Jill. Let's take you home. Home sweet home. Hey, Jill, do you want to grab something to eat? I'm not hungry. Want me to come in, keep you company? I'm fine, I just... I need to be alone for a bit. Jill. You can tell me whatever you're feeling. It's okay. No, it's not okay! It's... It's not fine. Come here, Jill, come here. It's just, I feel like a part of me is crumbling right now. My, my old girlfriend was sick and I didn't know anything about it. Her sister came to deliver the news and she, hold, uh, she held nothing but amnesty for me. And not only that, but I lashed out at her, uh, I lashed out at her too. History repeats itself. Maybe if I hadn't cowered back then and apologized. Maybe if I wasn't such a selfless little crap. <laughs> Sorry. Maybe. Maybe. Thanks, boss. I really needed this. Do you want me to stay with you today? Thanks, but I actually need some time for myself. Some time to put my so thoughts in order. Yeah, I understand. But don't do anything funny, you hear me? If any weird thoughts come to you, or if you feel anxious, call me. Yeah. Hey, Four, she's in your care, you hear? Meow. Remember to call me. I'll call you later uh, to check on you nonetheless. Jeez. <laughs> ah, heavy 
Topics. Your electricity bill was just sent out on, uh, will be sent out on the 24th. Yeah, I need the 8K. Yup, 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 yup. Oh, ha, ha. Kiramiki Encore Concert. <laughs> Mood change. Uh, fans of the famous cyber idol Kiramiki are uh, in for a huge party, all thanks to the announcement of a second concert in Glitch City's Silver Thunder Superdome. I'm so excited to extend my visit, declared the cyber idol during an interview. Tickets are now up for sale and expected to disappear in a matter of minutes. Uh, so be quick and secure your best spots. You can get tickets from the following retailers. Cool. New act proposes in... Uh, yeah. We have nanomachines tracking people 24-7. However, due to the violent protests that have been uh, taking place recently, Prime Minister Quin uh, Quincy is now proposing a new law that will allow the government to shut down anyone with nanomachines in their body using a pulse signal. Yikes! Many people died during the protest, and that could have been avoided if more uh, if we had more control over the masses. No, 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 no more control. No, no. Quincy said during a parliament meeting, uh, we simply have the uh, technology to shut down lawbreakers. It's a non-lethal way to end any kind of conflict and it's commonplace to use it at this point. When asked about the possible ne uh, negative consequences, Quincy for uh, refused to make any further comments. Uh, problematic. 66 American Kid Returns challenges uh, Giant Yus uh, Yusuke to a uh, title match. Uh, is this wrestling? This might be wrestling. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> I really don't care about that. In the meantime, though, let's save. Let's save after those heavy, 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 heavy topics. <laughs> Yikes. Honestly, I'm thinking about ending here? I don't know. Yeah, I might, I, I think I'll just end here. Not sure I have anyone that I could raid at the moment. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I'm just going to end here. So, thanks for watching, first off, and I'll see you guys next time.